So you got scooped. It happens. Now you just have to focus on the next story. Spare me the Smallville pep talk. I wasn't just scooped. A hideous part of my past just reared its ugly head. Well, never let it be said that Lois Lane doesn't have a flair for exaggeration. You don't know this woman, Clark. She has no conscience. She can't even spell it. It was a dark day for the Daily Planet when Linda King rode into town. Go ahead, mock me. You don't know the depths to which this woman will stoop to get a story, or anything else for that matter. Do I detect the scent of jealousy? No. You detect the smell of a rat, and she just scurried in. Hi, Lois. I thought we could get reacquainted. Or not. Hi, I'm Linda King. Hi, Clark Kent. I've heard a lot about you. From Lois? Let me guess. Has no conscience, will stoop to anything. See? <laughs> She's kidding. No, I'm not. And one more thing, stay away from Superman. I guess Lois thinks Superman's her own personal source, doesn't she? <laughs> you know, I'd really like to talk to him again. Is that the reason you're here? Well, wouldn't an introduction fall into the category of professional courtesy? <laughs> Sorry. Well, then, what should we talk about? Uh, I read your article on the hotel fires. Very good work. Thank you. Surprising to hear you say that, though. Well, just because we're competitors doesn't mean that we can't appreciate the competition. I also like the editorial that your publisher wrote, uh, demanding changes in the fire department. It's a very powerful writer. Preston Carpenter is a very powerful man, period. B by the way, he's having a party tonight at the Metropolis Press Club. Do you want to go? It's so last minute, and I hate to go to those things alone. Well, so bring a date. I'd ask you to be mine, but I already have one. Okay, sure. Great. I'll see you tonight. Bye, Lois. <laughs> All right, what'd she want? She invited me, or us, you and me, to a dinner that Carpenter is throwing tonight. Do you want to go? How could you accept an invitation from her after everything I told you? Lois, we might learn something. Oh, I'm sure that's the only reason Clark Kent, all-American boy, wants to go. <laughs> what time should I pick you up? You will not be picking me up. I'll meet you there at 7. <laughs> 